You don't know where it goes. Somewhere out in the desert. Alright guys, brilliant film. Thank, Thank you very much. It. Right on. The acting was believable, so that's a very good plus to let you know that. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I've got a group question. Have you guys seen E.T.? Of course. Oh, yeah. A long time ago. Yeah. Did you guys feel like you had something to, to you know, prove to make up? Because that, that wasn't my generation, so. Yeah. I haven't seen it, so. Um... Really? Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I, I think that like when we, when we did shoot this, and I think Dave Green and, and Henry Gaiden, the writer, they their kind of goal was not to try and like get into that story, mm -hmm. but to bring back that genre of movies that are fun. Not like not family movies, but movies that don't have a set like target age group, you know? Absolutely. Anyone can enjoy them, you know, like any adult who hasn't seen E. T. Goonies, Stand By Me, they can watch that, they will enjoy it. Any Absolutely. kid who sees it will enjoy it. There's no like you can't be too old, you can't be too young. And I think that that's what we're trying to bring back yeah. with this movie, because it's kinda like a lost genre. I agree. And the fact that it seemed like it was being filmed with like GoPro and everything was so fast. That's why they say it's the modern take, because yeah. I mean, we're bringing back that genre with modern technology. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Now, uh, was there ever a scene in your character that you thought, man, this is, this is the hardest thing for me to get into? Because you were brought in by theater, right? So, yeah, I mean, theater, it's def very different. I mean, theater, I feel like it's more, it's, it's more like kind of like uh, acting, mm -hmm. whereas this character, I just wanted to keep it as natural as possible and keep the acting to a minimal and mm -hmm. just try and get into my character. Therefore, I wouldn't have to act. I uh, I had to I had an emotional scene with Echo, as you saw. Yeah. And I it would have been fine except for the fact that I was staring at the palm of my hand because Echo was put in there with CGI. Right. So it was hard to get into that emotional state. Mm -hmm. But that was brilliant. Thank very you well very done. much. And Astro, so uh, again, you've come from the world of lots of hits and YouTube, you're, you're following. Was it easy for you to get into and look at the camera and talk to the camera because you've been doing it, falling into the role for, you know, and doing this to Echo? Yeah, uh, the thing about this role, I didn't really prepare for it. Like, I didn't take it as serious as I should have. Um, I know that if I plan to continue on in acting, I got to take it a little more serious. But for this one, it worked not taking it serious. Like when I was looking at the camera, didn't feel like acting. I was just, all right, what I got to do? All right, cool. Just talk to the camera and have fun and laugh and just, you know, it was a fun set to be on. But I didn't really prepare too much. It wasn't too staged. It was really just natural for everybody. I, I think. I think that's why your character was so believable because it was so natural. Yeah. yeah. So bravo. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's talk about uh, about you, uh, Ellen, and the character of Emma. Mm -hmm. Is there a bit of Emma inside of you? Yeah, for sure. Um, Emma has a very adventurous spirit, as mm -hmm. do I. I love, I'm a total adrenaline junkie. I love that stuff. Also, she's really loyal to her friends. You know, mm -hmm. when these guys want to ditch um, Alex, she decides to stay back and help him out. Right. In the scene where you're in, in a tiff in the, the, the kitchen, I believe, mm -hmm. for the prom, or, and what exactly, how did, you, how did you pull for that scene? Was it based on your, your experience arguing with parents, or is it just... <laughs> Hey, you know, it was just easy to do, you know? Yeah, I just try to um, put myself in my, my character's shoes. That's that's how I act. I really try to get in the right mindset mm -hmm. when I do those. Because um, obviously I was very angry. I just have to put myself, I have to make myself believe that I'm that person.